Oxford Discover, Student Book Six, by Kenna Burke, published and copyrighted by Oxford University Press. Hi there. I went bird watching this morning. It's one of my favorite hobbies. Birds are beautiful creatures, and it's amazing to see them in their natural habitat. But what makes birds special? Well, that's today's big question. Birds have always inspired writers and poets. The Chinese poet Du Fu wrote about birds in the year 712. And over a thousand years later, the American poet Emily Dickinson wrote about them in her poem, "A Bird Came Down the Walk." Birds also frequently appear in the work of one of the most famous writers of all time, William Shakespeare. Shakespeare refers to over sixty different types of bird in his plays and sonnets. He compares his characters to them. So a king is like a golden eagle, and a witch is like a dark raven. Shakespeare uses birds to represent human emotions, so a blackbird singing can represent joy and hope, but the cry of a crow can represent fear. But why are birds so popular with writers? Well, some birds have amazing abilities. Most birds can fly. To a lot of writers, this means they are free and adventurous. Unlike most people in Shakespeare's time, birds travel thousands of miles. In fact, many birds do this every year. This sense of freedom can make people feel happy and hopeful. Another reason birds appeal to writers is that many of them are beautiful. Birds like macaws and these pink flamingos are very brightly colored. Some birds, like the peacock, have beautiful tail feathers, and others, like the toucan, have colorful beaks. Birds look the way they do for a variety of reasons. Flamingos are pink because of the food they eat, but the macaws, toucans, and peacocks. All show off these bright and vibrant colors because they want to attract a mate. Like humans, birds want to impress each other. Finally, another reason people find birds special is that they can do some of the things we do too. In fact, some birds are unusually intelligent. Here is a picture. Of the woodpecker finch, it's native to the Galapagos Islands, and it's extremely clever. It can use the spine from a cactus as a tool. It spears little insects with it and removes them from their hiding place. How's that for smart?